Hey guys, it's me, Callie. Today I'm really happy to be sharing with you my art journal page for October's Dyson Deal Mixed Media Challenge. Every month for Dyson Deal, I take a pair of dice, I roll them, and as long as it's a four or above, I draw the corresponding amount of cards from my mixed media inspiration deck. This is a deck of prompts for art journaling, and mine happens to be from Kayla Givehand. And I will put the link to where you can get this deck of cards, as well as anything I've used in this challenge, in the description box below. So be sure to check it out. So based on our prompts, we create an art journal page, and this is my offering for the month of October. So if you're interested in seeing how I pulled it together, stick around, and I encourage you to join me. I'll put links to my Dyson Deal Facebook group below. And I'll also li list the prompts below if you just want to play along that way. So, see you in a few. Okay guys, let's get started. We're going to roll our dice and keep anything above a four. Six. That's a good number for a journal page. I've already you know, shuffled up the deck really good, but I'll do it one more time here. And deal out six cards. We do them in descending order. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Doodle or draw random shapes. Okay, let me grab my journal and something to doodle with, and I'll see you back here. Okay, guys, I'm back. As per usual, I have my Delusions Journal by Ranger. I will put all the links to everything you see in this video in the description box below. This is getting nice and filled up and chunky. I've already prepped a page with some Liquitex white gesso just to prime it, and I have some old wax paper behind it case we make a mess which I know we will and at first I thought I wanted to use like um, water soluble crayons but then I decided that I wanted to use my Derwent ink tense pencils because these are permanent when they're activated and I'm just going to sketch with these and draw random shapes and then I'm sure we'll activate it at some point with either paint or ink I'm hoping along the way so um, I'm not feeling like doing any geometric shapes or anything. Uh, let me go in with, if anyone who knows me, what color is this? Fuchsia. And I'm feeling like kind of blobby, paisley blobs kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to go with. And I'll show you like maybe one that I'm going to do here. And I don't know if I'm going to color these in or not. But we'll do a few of them around. And yeah, just, I don't know, guys, something like this. So I'm going to fill up the page with some blobs. And yeah, I probably will color them in. Why not? And just little, this is what I'm feeling like doodling. So I don't know why. I don't question these things. I will use more colors than just this fuchsia though. So let me finish this and I'll show you how the page looks. And I always have to remember that we're going to wind up covering up most of this stuff. I get so hung up on the details of each step. Um, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it's a thing. So that's what I'm thinking. Amoebas or blobs, paisley amoebas. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I think I'm done doodling. What do you think? Now, the fact that I use these, you know, water-soluble pencils here really makes me want to activate them. And I know the prompt just says to doodle or draw. And they could be activated further down the line or maybe not. But I keep wanting to do it. So I'm going to flip a coin, you guys, and I just have a quarter here, and heads will activate it with water, tails will leave it as it is, okay? So I'm just going to kind of, tails 
it is. We're going to leave it as it is. Okay. At least I gave it a chance, right? Let's uh, go to our next prompt. See what we get. Add a 3D element. Wow. I have no idea what that's going to be. So let me try to figure it out and I'll get back to you. Okay, for my 3D element, I've decided to use some string and purple, of course. I'm just going to take some of my Aileen's Tacky Glue and kind of just maybe outline some of these shapes all around the page. Um, I'll show you. Let's, I'll show you what I'm thinking. And I also have some um, cut out flowers if I want to use those as well. So I'm just going to give you an example here. This glue is going to activate some of our uh, pencils. I have a chopstick to help me here so I don't get my fingers all stuck in our string. Let's hold that down. Just to get it started. I don't know. I thought of using some chipboard elements, but I thought I'd go with the string. And it says, you know, add a element. And obviously, if you guys are playing along, feel free to interpret these prompts however you like. You know, break the rules. You don't have to follow this exactly. And this is meant to inspire you, so hopefully that's what it's doing. I tend to be very rigid with myself sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so you get the idea here. I'm going to do the same thing around everything else. And then if I decide when it's done that I want to add some of these flowers, and I got some of these in Happy Mail. Um, these are like that mulberry paper. And then these ones down here are some cool die cuts. So I may or may not uh, incorporate a few of those. We'll see when I get back. <laughs> see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. I decided not to use the flowers, obviously. And I gotta tell you guys, it's really driving me crazy that I haven't activated those pencils only because the colors are so vibrant and just so you know I mean it's like indigo blues and uh, red violet and but I'm gonna just stick with it you guys and maybe if by the end of the page nothing has activated those colors maybe then I will but I'm gonna have faith right now that we're gonna do what we're supposed to be doing and we're going to pull the third card this is still a little um, tacky from the tacky glue but I think the strings look cool what do you think here we go add gel medium or modeling paste through a stencil let dry add fluid paint over it okay we've had this prompt before in the past and this will definitely be moving some things along. So before I can do any of that, I do have to let these uh, strings dry, let the glue dry more thoroughly. So when that happens, I will have gathered a stencil and decided on some paint colors, and I'll meet you back here, okay? Okay, so here we are. I've decided to use this swirl stencil from plaid folk art and I have some gel medium Liquitex uh, matte gel so let's start here and then I still haven't figured out what color paint or anything um, I have a little spatula knife and I'm not going to cover I always say this I'm not going to cover the entire page but let's just what we get here. I'm going to lay some down and then I have a small card here. And I'm going to go right over the strings 
it would be too hard I think to avoid them so let's see what that looks like I still have some on the card very swirly okay so maybe I will cover the entire page why not because I said I wouldn't so let me finish this up I'm gonna go all the way around and let it dry and then be back with some paint see you when that's done okay guys this gel medium is 99 percent dry here I think you can see it okay and I went back and forth with paint choices. I even thought about using some inks. And I mostly use acrylic paint. So I decided to go out of my comfort zone and use some of my watercolors. Um, I actually picked this up at a yard sale. These are Pelican watercolors. I've already sprayed them lightly. And we'll go with some blues. And I'm going to make them really wet and drippy and kind of fill in these patches in between the strings. And I think before I start that, I'm going to wet my page just lightly with a spray bottle. I don't want it too wet. I don't want this running all over the place, but I am going to spray it. Ooh, we're going to activate all those colors just like I wanted to. And... I just have a brush here, so let's go in with, I don't know, maybe some of this blue right here, and I'm going to just kind of do that kind of stuff, and let's see if we can make that kind of run. Oh yeah, and I want to keep it in between the strings a little bit, so let's see. Maybe it'll do that naturally. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Alright, I'm going to keep it somewhat contained because I'm going to put different colors next to it. What do you think, guys? It's kind of magical, right? love it again best part of these challenges is doing things i would never ever think of doing uh i'm going to continue with that blue down through here i'll just show you this one and then i'll finish the rest whoops escaping escaping wow oh, that looks great i really like it what do you think i think it was a good call with the watercolors get super watery okay and then next to it I think I'm going to do either a darker blue or purple and I'm going to alternate um, for instance all right let's go with some purple you know you want to I'm gonna come in on this one with the purple and alternate in between the bands of string. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, let me finish this up. I'm in love with it already, and I'll see you when I finish it. Okay, so this is still wet, but I just wanted to show you how it turned out, and I love it. My two favorite colors, and I just think it looks really cool with the spirals underneath, and you can still see those um, paisley shapes under there so a lot of, a lot of texture going on up close I like it so I'm gonna let this dry but in the meantime I figured I might as well draw another card we have three left and get prepared for the next prompt so let's see what we got use spray inks through a stencil oh boy we're really adding layers upon layers here okay I'm gonna let this dry I'll figure out another stencil and then be back with some spray ink. Okay, I let this dry overnight so it's nice and dry now. And we're supposed to use spray inks through a stencil. 
I kind of agonized over this and I did decide to use one of my Andy Skinner stencils. This one is Tornado. I had initially thought that I might use like a face stencil um, because I'm a little worried that we may not have any kind of a focal image here and just wind up with a fancy background. But I'm not going to worry. I'm just, we have two more prompts and it is what it is. And I told you guys I've committed to, you know, just do them in the prompts as given and we'll deal with what we get. So this is what I'm going to do. I have some uh, white acrylic spray and this is a uh, mixed media deco arts acrylic spray in a different bottle. It's in a delusion spray bottle because I have trouble with the uh, deco art mister sometimes. And I also have a delusions ink spray in bubblegum pink. I'm not sure. This one's permanent. This one's not. Let's try the white first uh, and just see what we get. And hopefully. I have no idea. We're probably not really even going to be able to see that, but let's see. That's kind of cool. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. You know, normally I would go all around the edges. What do you think? Should I? Or should I just leave that? Hmm. Um, I like the fact that it's centered. But boy, I always want to cover the whole page, you guys. It's hard for me. Let's, let's just do it. Why not? Because I think it's going to add some more dimension. What's the worst that's going to happen? I don't like it. Yeah, that's kind of cool, don't you think? And this white mister is kind of a shimmer mister. Let's just I'm turn it this way. Well, that is what it is, isn't it? Okay, nothing spectacular. Again, it's really, you know, it's cool as a background. Um, I'm not going to... I keep saying what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to use this. I thought I might, but I'm not. I'm committing to that. I'm not using it. So. Uh, now I want to. All right. Never mind, wishy-washy. Let's move on to the next. We have two prompts left. Fingers crossed for a focal image or something, but let's go. Use black gesso or black paint to cover something up. Do do do. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Cover what up? Could we do a border? That would be covering something up. I don't know. I'll be back when I figure it out. See you in a minute. Okay, guys. I decided to go with another stencil. Um, I got this in some happy mail. It says, live with promise, love with passion, laugh with pleasure. And I thought we could use, it says, use black gesso or black paint to cover something up. So I'm going to use that to stencil with. And that will kind of make me less concerned about our focal image because at least we'll have that. I am going to use a little bit of um, masking tape to just kind of hold this stencil down because we have so much texture going on underneath with the string especially that I want to make sure I make good contact. And then I just have some uh, black acrylic paint by uh, DecoArt Americana multi-surface satin. This one's in black tie. And I'm going to use a little sponge spouncer brush. Um, to lay it down and then I may still when that's done just kind of bounce I love that word around the edges for a border because we only have one prompt left after this um, I'm going to get most of the paint off I don't want this too thick in here um, and I'm going to just go for it 
and very carefully, very slowly, um, fill this all out. Okay, so let me do that. I'm going to do the whole stencil and a border, and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, as you guys can see, despite my being very careful, that didn't work out so well. Um, I had a feeling with the texture underneath. It's not awful, but you certainly can't read it, or I can't anyway. Um, I did just go around the edges with the little spouncer there. And what I think I'm going to do um, is just, I grabbed a Sharpie, a black Sharpie permanent marker, as well as my Faber-Castell pit pen. This is a big brush. Um, this is also permanent. And what I'm going to do is outline and kind of neaten up the writing, especially. And I may also, look at me elaborating on the prompts. Um, outline in my Signal White pen. This is a gel pen, Uniball. Just so you can read it, because otherwise I think it just looks like a messy blob. I almost was tempted to wipe it off. I have to tell you that I was just like, oh man, um, it just looked like a big mess. So I'm going to try to save it, and here we are keeping it real. So I'll see you back here when I do that. Okay, that looks a lot better. And obviously the white really helped with the outline. Um, I go through these pens like water. Use them all the time. So there's that. And we have one card left, you guys. Watch it be like add a focal image or something. Um, here we go. Let's see. Use a sponge or makeup wedge to dab paint in random places. I don't hate that prompt. Um, my first thought is to kind of, oh, it says random. That's my favorite word. All right, let me figure out what kind of paint, and I'll grab a sponge or a makeup wedge. Be right back. So for our last step, I grabbed some paint, and I grabbed a sponge. This is Purple Iris by Apple Barrel, and I'm going to, I've wet the sponge a little bit, um, and I've already poured some in here, so we're going to randomly, look at that, ah, uh, go around here, and my initial thought was to kind of frame out this quote, but I think just by us doing this, which I didn't think I would like so much, and I kind of do. I wasn't sure which color to pick. Um, <laughs> so always go with purple. That's my philosophy in life. I like any color as long as it's purple. Uh, what do you think? Is this random enough? Should I try to blend it in a little more? Instead of making it so splotchy, I don't want to go over the lettering we just did, and I also don't want to cover up the whole thing, so I'm just going to kind of move this around. My sponge is a little damp, we'll take what we had to work with, and what do you guys think? I kind of like it. I was very uncertain, uh, definitely, and not that every page needs a focal point, you know, but I, that's part of the challenge for me is to, you know, make a complete, whatever that means, you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, I think it worked out fine, got a little scary, but that's part of the fun, and if you guys like it, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you'd love to play along. I'll put all the links to the Dyson Deal Facebook group below. I will also list all the prompts below, as well as information where to get Kyella Givehan's deck of cards and everything that I used in this video. So I will be spraying some kind of a sealant, um, either matte or glossy. I haven't decided. 
Uh, but when I do that, I'll take some pics, and I will see you guys next month, okay? Take care, peace, and love. One last thing. This is the sealer that I used. Decor Americana Acrylic Sealer, and this is matte. I also have a glossy, but that's it, okay? I'll see you guys next month. Peace and love. Take care.